Okay, Dad, what are we working on this morning? You do it. I'll tell you what to do. We're going to get filled with bean dust here this morning right off the rip. Changing out some modules. What for? Why? Yeah. Well, because we're cutting a lot of beans and these are round bars for food grade corn. And we're gonna we're gonna put the standard ones in so we can do a better job on beans. I'm hoping. You gonna have to switch them back when we go to corn? Um possibly. Well, yes. All these all these green stems, look at that. Never seen so many green stems with 11.5% beans. Have you? You ever cut beans like this? Or 11.5% green stem? Uh, you know, leaves? we have a few times, but not this many this long. Here. Stick that in a hole. Oh, to keep it up. Keep it up, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. You may not even need the impact. Yeah, I can use it now. How's it come down? Um, uh, try to just put it in the center. See the center hole? Like that, yeah. And then try it easy, don't. Go ahead, now you see that just pulls out. Right on. They're heavy, I mean. They're it's, heavy. They're very heavy. Put one in it. They made this thing. So these are metro beans, right? Yeah. They're just so heavy, aren't they? I'm big and strong. Well, we're all set here, so let's see if that's gonna make a difference. Well, we got all the combines situated, and now do the important thing. Fix my flagpole here. Broke it yesterday. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Ready to go. Before we get rolling here, I'm gonna wipe down the windows with the world's best glass cleaner. Because can't beat some good clean windows on the start of the day. So clean, so fresh. Channel one. Channel one, radio. Well, we got a little less than 10 acres left here, I think. So it won't take too long when we get this knocked out and be on to the next one. Dad just stopped and I uh, checked on those modulars we put in there. Let's see what it looks like in there. Please be. I think it's doing a real good job. Yeah, why don't you Perfect. take a look at this next time. See what you think. I think it's doing a real good job. My sample looks good to great. Woo! And I 
switching fields and wanting to keep stuff separate waiting on a truck so he's just dumping his hopper into mine and he can go ahead and start on the next field <laughs> 75 feet at a time good soybeans and a line eye football they fake the screen over there and Tommy DeVito just pulls it down well, we just about got this field whipped, finishing out my triangle here, and Dad's finishing his out on the east side too. Good. Yeah. Everything's been going pretty smooth in this field, and uh, next field, uh, it's a 40 right up the road here and I'm gonna have to use my head cart because I gotta go through town and uh, okay maybe this radio will settle down here for a sec um, yeah we're gonna be moving up the road here I gotta go through town so I need to drop my head off and I'm actually gonna manage to work apart instead of together on this field we're, we're gonna have to work together we're working together we just parted ways I'm gonna take my head to the next field behind my combine. Uh, Dad's got a hitch pin, so I'll just hook it up behind the 6088, drag it through town. And uh, so the only thing that sucks about that is I've got to unhook from the head, drive my combine around, and then hook it up. Um, when somebody else brings it behind a pickup, you can just have your combine stopped, and the pickup truck can pull right in front of you, you can hook onto it, and you're good to go. So. Grandpa's in the other truck that's here already, so we just got one truck here, so that's why I'm just gonna yank the head behind the combine. We don't normally do it a lot, but kind of handy if you need to. So we probably got about five acres left here, and we'll be on the move. Be interesting to see how Dad's combine does this evening when the sun goes down, because that's when it would start to struggle. Uh, he was fine all day long uh, as soon as the sun went down. Dad almost had little cab beans there, it sounds like. Um, yeah, so when the sun went down, uh, Dad just couldn't cut beans anymore. And then it got tough, so I would quit as well. But I guess if the moisture wouldn't pick up so soon, and uh, maybe we could cut a little later tonight. Here we go. split up 20 here and 20 over there so he's working on that side I'm on I'm working on this side well it's that time of the day again um, it's only seven o'clock here and got a quick cutting beans uh, Sun goes down and it starts doing a crappy job and I just can't cut these beans um, you go back there and check behind the machine it's just a bunch of wet trash and it just it want it wants to walk the beans out the back of the combine. So, Dad and I are shutting them down. We've got one truck loaded. Uh, we still have yet to load trucks in the cart after the sun goes down. So, there's two trucks parked here. All the drivers went home. Uh, we were just gonna load everything up and take them home by ourselves. But we had to shut down early, and we only got one truck loaded. So, time to hop in a truck and head down to the farm. It was a pretty good day of cutting uh, up until about quarter to seven. So. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to work past seven.
Whoops, forgot I had a load. Better throw her in low gear. Look at the rock roads into this trailer. The truck's filthy too. Ugh. You gonna do wash up now? Nope. We'll wash them in the morning. Be a God, good job. Dirty, aren't they? Be a good job to start the day off with. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this harvest content. It's my first harvest on YouTube. So give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.